How the heretics say hello to my little friend. This is a bug or a beetle. And when I was a Jehovah Witness pioneer, I was broke and you're supposed to be broke because I gave most of my money to Watchtower. And then most of my time talking about my delusions to people that didn't want to hear about my delusions. And it was not a problem because Jehovah would provide for me. So I prayed for food because I was at a convention in Strängnäs, Sweden. It's the only mega church Jehovah Witnesses have. And I prayed for food. And a bug like this, slightly bigger actually, came walking by. And I prayed for food. And another one came walking by. And I prayed for food. And a third came walking by. It was a lot of beetles. So in the end I thought, if you actually believe in God, and you pray three times, and a bug come walking by, well, do you have faith? Or do you not have faith? So I ate him. And if you see those quite long legs here that Jehovah created, they have spikes on them. So I prayed to Jehovah and I ate him. So I swallowed him and when he came about here, he did this. And he was stuck. And then he did what any reasonable beetle would do. He has six legs, I only have four. But he had six and he started doing this, climbing up. And I, full of Holy Spirit, did my best to swallow him while he was doing his best to survive the convention. So he was climbing and climbing and climbing and I was swallowing and swallowing and swallowing until I realized, let's put him here. Nah. Until I realized maybe this wasn't God's will anyway. So I thought, just relax my throat and allow him to climb out. Let him have his way with me. So I just did like this and he started climbing. And then I panicked. Yes, through Jehovah's servant, I panicked. So I just started to swallow like crazy and he got down here and he tried to make his nest and I was jumping, skipping and I got him down. And then when I got him down, I realized they actually have some really nasty tools to bite themselves into wood. And they are very capable of biting you inside the stomach in a way to get out. So it was not a nice experience. So whenever you pray to Jehovah, don't expect any answers. And if you don't, if you do get an answer, don't eat a beetle. But if you do eat a beetle, depending on your favorite God, remove the legs before you eat it. So that's wisdom. Now I will tell you that I also received answer to my prayers. Once I was out in Norway, I prayed for food and it didn't come a beetle, but it came a slug. I will tell you that story another time. They can claim in your stomach, but they can make you really, really, really sick if you eat them. So like and subscribe and leave a comment for the glory of our God. See you in paradise.